Hi everyone, and hey, welcome to my channel, Aqua Smodok. My name is Nicolas Marion, and today I wanted to make a comparison between black sand for reef aquarium. And because I started a new project, and you can follow along, I'm gonna just put a link on the for the playlist of that, uh, so you can follow the, the evolution of this uh, small aquarium with black sand. So the theme of this aquarium is to make everything black. So I initially like purchased the um, Carib Sea Hawaiian black like that. And uh, you can see a little bit of sample here, and uh, a little bit of sample also is uh, there. So I got a little bit surprised, and this is why I wanted to make this uh, video because I wanted to show like my my experience with uh, this kind of uh, scent. I was expecting something like like really black when I was looking on the the website. Uh, it, the their scent seemed to be really really black. I was oh my, this is exactly what I need. So I purchased that and. Um, I got a little bit uh, surprised by this because it's not really super black as you can see it's a mix between like a white and black they put uh, aragonite like a, the, the typical um, like Fiji sand that you can see over there I'm gonna use that as a reference because the Fiji pink uh, from Carib Sea is probably the, the most popular substrate for reef aquarium so I'm gonna just uh, take that as a comparison so most of the people uh, know this uh, sand and um, yeah, I was really surprised and uh, it's, it's not only, like honestly, it's not super pleasing to my eyes. Um, I, I don't really enjoy the, the mix between white and black like that. Uh, it's, it's, no, it's not what they advertise on their website, let's be honest. So I was a little bit disappointed. And something else that also piqued my attention is that in the, the substrate of the black Hawaiian uh, uh, of Caribsi, there's like some kind of like orange volcano rock, uh, which I think is like the similar uh, composite of the, the black one, but um, it's it's basically like a, <laughs> a mix of uh, so much stuff in that in that bag. Uh, I was really surprised. So it's not what I exactly what I wanted. I was a, I was a little bit surprised. So what I did because I wanted my my sand to be like pure black, uh, I found a way to just separate the the grain. Uh, the small green like that with the the black the big black uh, rock uh, like that and uh, what i did i just took that the ball and i put water and i just basically like just swing the the ball and I just pick with my finger until i separated all the all of them so i, I ended up having like this ball um, i will probably like never use that honestly so i was actually i put that sand uh, in this aquarium and then I go to my fresh water store and I see that bag. I was like, oh my God, this is exactly what I wanted because I took a look like on the transparency here and it's basically like a black Vulcan or uh, The only thing is it's made for fresh water. It's, it's the Eco Complete, the Carib Sea Eco Complete Planted Aquarium Sustrate. So it's made for the, the like for the plants like they, they say like they have like a, the floor, spore, wood, enchantment, same beyond a lot of words. <laughs> and um, so there, there's a lot of stuff like the bacteria and stuff like that that are made for the, the fresh water. So what I did, um, I bought this for to, just to show you like a comparison. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna make like a comparison between uh, each uh, black sand for salt water aquarium and uh, so you can see like visually the difference between each of them keep in mind uh, for this one I separated the grain it's, but it's both are the same side by side uh, they are the same stuff um, I'm gonna put the Carib Sea Eco Complete so the, the Carib Sea Hawaiian Black I'm gonna put the Carib Sea Fiji Pink I put this one because it's the most uh, popular uh, on the market I think uh, and I really uh, love that scent I recommend to anyone uh, and also for our bonus, I'm gonna put like the this sand, a uh, really small grain that somebody gave me at some point, and uh, so we can just see the difference. The comparison help you to, to visualize uh, the, the difference. Keep in mind they, they, when they said like they uh, modified the stuff for like salt water or fresh water uh, is usually because they, they put additive in it 
uh, for the pH, uh, I'm I'm gonna wondering a little bit uh, like the reason why I think they, they put the um, the aragonite like the the white the white part of this is the aragonite and it helps I think to balance a little bit for the pH uh, and for like the, the calcium maybe in the alkalinity. So I think this is why they put that inside. But honestly, uh, I just dose uh, my aquarium, so I don't think I'm gonna care too much about that. But we'll see. So. Uh, what I did, uh, because I saw this one, it was pretty black. Um, I noticed that b the difference between uh, those two, the the black volcano rock, uh, they are a little bit. Uh, there's a little color shift between uh, each of them. The this one was a little bit uh, more black, and this one was a little bit more gray. But I think it's it depends on the on the the mood of the volcano at that time. So sometimes it's more rich with uh, something. Also, I noticed that um, uh, the the black volcanic rock uh, there's a little bit of like a magnet inside. Um, you can see like there's an iron. Uh, so I put like a glass and uh, just put the, the magnet inside to see to show you like a, it, it does contain iron. So of course the iron uh, is not like a bad thing. Uh, actually, it's most of the coal the need the iron, so it's not a bad thing. So I think it's a good thing. Uh, it just a balance of iron so i think it's it's reef safe there's no problem with that of course like i'm not going to use like a magnet to clean like the, the aquarium i'm gonna use like a scrapper to to prevent uh, the, the 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 scratch on the glass so what i did for the for this aquarium i i took i took off the the, the black sand uh, from this and it took me like a couple hours to make that and i just scratched that and I, what I did, I, I actually took uh, this uh, black sand and I used uh, this thing, uh, like for spaghetti and uh, noodles, stuff like that, to just uh, separate the grain uh, because I, I didn't want like a big grain on my crown. Like I want like a small grain because it's a nano, uh, nano uh, reef aquarium. So uh, I wanted like a small grain. So I used that uh, with water and uh, eventually I separated the, the, the sand and I end up like basically this is the the big i'm gonna show you so this like is the basically the the big grain uh that was uh, inside and i separated uh so i'm not going to use that for the the crumb but what i can do if you like you have like a lot of patience you can use a hammer to smash the grain uh if you have free time hey i don't know uh, until you, uh, you reach like a small size. There's an alternative to the Caribbean Sea Black Hawaiian. Uh, there is the Nature Ocean Black uh, Sand with I think it's like Volcano. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't buy this because I had to pay like $54 just for the shipping. It was crazy price, but I think this is a really, really great alternative. So last night I put the black sand in this aquarium and I put like a ammonia and uh, put like a bacteria, so it's gonna cycle. Of course, the, the aquarium like it's not super clear. I hope that you can see the, the aquarium from this angle. Um, so it's gonna clear up. And um, also, like on internet, you can see like people like like 15 years ago, they, they talked about like the 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 substrate leach like a lead or stuff, whatever. Um, honestly, I I think it's like it's old stuff. It's a, a myth. So just to clear clarify everything. What I'm going to do uh, for this aquarium, I'm going to use like one of my uh, ICP tests uh, from Funnel Marine and I'm going to do a test with like the sample vial. So I'm going to show you the result of this uh, eventually. Uh, so just follow my uh, my YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in the comments also. Uh, follow the playlist for this aquarium. So maybe you're going to see that. So this will help to understand does it leash anything? Yes or no? Uh, it's going to be uh, mix between those uh, two uh, sand so we'll see and uh, because I'm super curious also so if you wonder what look a uh, reef aquarium with black sand and black team uh, just follow me uh, with this aquarium I'm gonna put some update eventually and uh, because I'm very curious also uh, so follow me on that and uh, I hope this video will help you I'm gonna put some link uh, down below in the description the comments so you can follow uh, along and uh, thank you for watching bye bye